Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball 8 box jumbo edition. Pick your team, number 8. All chrome ships, but no paper ships unless it's these four players right here. No exceptions. All other paper is ended up uh, donated to charity. Goes to a good cause. Um, big thanks to all of these people right here. Actually, let's flip the screens right here. There's the case right there. Big thanks to everyone right here. Thanks for grabbing all of these teams. No fillers or like anything like that in this. We just did the old-fashioned way, straight up. Walter with that last spot mojo star next to his name. There's everybody else. Thank you, everyone, for getting in. And let's uh, pop this case open. So if you look at the top camera right there, you can see me setting those boxes off to the side right there. So we're expecting uh, three chrome autographs per box on average. Good luck. It's a baseball break, but it's not too much baseball news happening. At least I don't think. Has any big, ba any big baseball news today? We will, we will be enjoying some uh, Thursday night football together a little bit later, though. Colleen's going with the Rams, 27-17. Steve Young, I think, is going with, with the Rams, 23-17. Joe is also, oh, Steve Smith is going with 20, Rams. Joe is also going Rams 2017. What about, what about Michael Irving? And 24-20. Well, they're all predicting close games. I'm laying five in this game, so. I right, remember, these, these are the players that, uh, these are the only paper players that we're pulling here. right here. All right. Good luck. And our first autograph is a black border for the Angels. Nice. 68 out of 75. There's Werner Blakely. That'll be for the Halos. That'll be for Jorge and the Angels. There you go. Nice start. And Tyler Brenner saying, you shaved today to look like Goose Gossage. You got a Goose Gossage mustache going? Zach Veen. Set him aside. And... We've got Lodzinski right there. Carmen Lodzinski to 99 for the Pirates. Pirates paper. So we'll just set, set those aside there. 
Veen goes to the Rockies. That's going to be for Jack. And Carmen for the Pirates. That's going to go to Chad. There's our first Spencer Torkelson paper. That'll be for the Tigers. That's going to go to Desiree. All right, we've got Mark Vientos and Asa Lacey to 250 for the Royals. That'll be for Fred Schultz. I've pulled some Ed Howard cards. Yeah, is he a top prospect in all of baseball? I mean, I, I know he's up there. There he is right here. Definitely a top prospect for the Cubs though. But yeah, I think I pulled an autograph out of a case yesterday. There's only three left in figure team 11? That's kind of odd. I guess we can go out of order. First to fill, first to break. Second half of the box. Jared Schuster to 150 for the Braves. That'll be for David. And another Angels autograph. That's David Calabrese for Jorge and the Halos. So two of the first three autographs here in Pick Your Team 8. Angels. There's Matt Dyer to 250 for the Metropolitans. That'll be for Jack. And we'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load those, of course. Just in the interest of time, we want to try to breeze through these as quickly as possible. Should be looking for one more auto out of here. One of the guys we're saving here, Heston Kirkstead. Yeah, Torkelson is going for crazy money. You're a number one draft pick, a hitter, projected to, to be a stud. In MLB, so yeah, I think I think he's going to certainly get a lot of attention. And our final autograph is for the Diamondbacks. Our final autograph of the box, 94 out of 150. That's Bryce Jarvis and uh, Michael Coots with the Snakes. Tyler, you don't think he'll last long in Detroit? Why?
We can't afford him. I don't know. I, th I think the I think the Tigers are are the kind of team that would that can play pay their players. Guys paid Verlander. Guys paid uh, Miguel Cabrera. I think they've demonstrated they they can. I don't think they're gonna be. They're not always like big players in the free agency market, but. Well, thankfully, Miguel, by the time Torkelson even has uh, his first free agency, I think you'll, you'll, have, you'll have long finished paying off Miguel Cabrera. I mean, he's going to be, Torkelson's going to be under team control for at least five or six seasons. There's at least three, three or four arbitration windows for him. So, by then... Those names will be off the books. I've heard about... I mean, that's all that speculation season, right? Matthew Stafford to New England. I feel like everyone's connecting Stafford... Everyone's connecting a quarterback to New England. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't doubt that it has been mentioned by somebody. But I feel like any quarterback will be attached to New England. I'll be like, oh, Carson Wentz to New England, you know, Matthew Stafford to New England, Minshew to New England, you know, like it, it could be all over the place. Sam Darnold to New England, Dwayne Haskins to New England. I don't know, trading quarterbacks is so difficult though. I mean, you'd have to give up at least a first, right? All right, Oliver, what's going on, man? And our first autograph out of the second box is Spencer Strider to 250 for David Lewis and the Braves. Uh, you know what? I don't know, actually. Put a team in checkout and see what happens. There's Mike Ciani to 50 for gold paper for the uh, Reds. The Heston goes to the Orioles. That'll be for Josh. Maybe we'll find some Heston chrome or ink. There's Daniel Espino to 99. For Cleveland, that's going to be for Mark Bissett. Ah, the 10 percent off gone. Lonnie's asking advice. Should we hold on to Josh Allen rookies or sell now? Here's Bryce. Let me ask you this, Lonnie. What, why do you want to sell now? One hundred out of four ninety-nine Diamondbacks. That'll be for Michael. More Torgelson paper. Tigers, Desiree with this one. Maybe we'll find his autograph in here somewhere or some chrome too. This is Robert Pawson, sky blue.
And we got a Robert Russell Sparkle and a Bailey Horn for EA and the White Sox. Right, yeah, see, that, that that's the tricky thing about buying and selling Lonnie. Lonnie's like, yeah, good question. Not sure what the values are later on or if he's just average or above average. Padres, that'll go to Mark Bissett. This Zach Veen will go to the Rockies. That's for Jack. I feel like I'd be inclined to hold on to... Uh, I'd be inclined to hold on to Josh Allen. Oh, that's right. Bailey Horn. Um, yeah, he's definitely hot now. Birch thinking, thinking sell. But I don't know. I'd be inclined to hold. I mean, the, the Buffalo Bills are a playoff team, right? He's made... Josh Allen's made big strides this season as a quarterback. He has since his rookie year. Every year he's gotten better and better. If he has like a signature, like... If he has like a signature playoff win or two. I mean, could he even be a sneaky... Is that a sneaky Super Bowl team? There's Ian Bedell to 250. More Torkels and paper. I mean, it's not crazy to say that, the, you know, that the Bills, you know, with if a couple couple breaks go their way, they could suddenly be in the Super Bowl. And I guess in the end, it's just it just depends on how you. It's like fantasy sports, right? It's like how do you feel about this quarterback going forward? You know, if you personally think that he's uh, he's an average quarterback, you know, yeah, maybe you move him now while he's hot. I personally would at least hold on until the until the playoffs and see how see how he looks there. There's a Chrome Torkelson. I don't know. That's just my advice, though. Some some of the guys in the chat just saying sell now while 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 it's while it's uh while his card values are at a high point. All right, that was another box. And we'll do a, again, we'll do a, we'll do a recap at the, uh, at the end. Yeah, no worries, Lonnie. It's all, always a fun conversation. When do you buy, when do you sell? It's, it's the same with like, same with like stock markets. When do you buy, when do you sell? See everything on the top camera right there. Yeah, Oliver's arguing, you know, is arguing that Josh Allen has a high ceiling, but do, do we really see Josh Allen in the Super Bowl? Right, yeah, his prices. Ryan Harold's arguing, hey, listen, his prices go up when he makes the playoffs. And if he wins a Super Bowl, I mean, he'd be a legend delivering a Super Bowl to Buffalo. He is pretty beloved in Buffalo, isn't he? I think he said all the right things when he... I think he said all the right things when... Uh, 
when he was drafted. He's like, this is where I want to be. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, do we see Josh Allen getting past Mahomes? I don't know. That's the other thing. Mahomes is blocking pretty much every quarterback for like the next 10 years. But the Bills' defense is actually pretty good. The Raiders, yeah, the Raiders beat the Chiefs. I think they kind of, if you can kind of catch, I mean, I don't think you're going to catch the Chiefs sleeping in the playoffs, but there is a sort of pathway to, to try to beat him, to beat Mahomes. That's by exploiting a poor Chiefs defense. And uh, maybe if you have, if like the Bills keep growing their defense, you know, that could be, that could be the recipe. You know, I mean, Mahomes is not going to win the Super Bowl every year. At least I don't think so. At some point, you know, it's football, right? Any given Sunday, it could just be, you know, it could be, I mean, they could get knocked down the first round this year and everyone's like, whoa. And we got Saul. Garza, 28 out of 99. Green Chrome Auto for Fred Schultz and the Royals. There's Mason Wynn. Four ninety nine, and uh, Spencer Torkelson paper. Shane Drohan and Andrew Vaughn, purple chrome to 250. For the White Sox, EA with the White Sox. He's supposed to be pretty good. We've got Heston Kirkstead. I just want to say Keston because of Keston. I know, I always think Keston here because the H and the K are right next to each other. A little bit of a ding in that corner there, but I'm sure we'll find some more papers. Right there, Nick Jaspi's here to help out. Let's stack some boxes on his cart here. This will help make the break go a little bit more quickly. Buy or sell on uh, Josh Allen? Hold. You'd hold? Yeah. Not buy, not sell. Basketball is coming around, so a lot of football has dropped a little bit. But it'll be right back up. I mean, the Bills are 9-3. Right, they're a playoff team. They'll probably be playing... There's Hunter Green to 150 for the Reds. like the Raiders or Titans or... And Hunter Barnhart. Dolphins? I think all three are beatable for the Bills. Absolutely. Um, Can you see the Bills being the Chiefs? No. I don't think anybody beats the Chiefs this year. You think they're going to repeat? Yeah. And I think they'll do it in fashion we've never seen it before. Uh, they haven't been really blowing away teams this year, though. Yeah, I think they haven't put the gas pedal on yet. Oh, you think you think they're just cruising they're into just the playoffs? Kind of posting a little bit. Like LeBron. And then they'll just turn it up? Yeah. I could see that. 
Because, like, some games, like, they're not putting teams away. Like, and also the teams they're not putting away are, like, divisional rivals. So that's a little true, different. True, yeah. Unless they see the Raiders in the playoffs. But you saw how easy it was, that two-minute drill against yeah, the Raiders. It's so just, bad. like, any time they can score, that was, if they want to score, I feel like they can almost. Yeah, they let the Raiders score a lot, too. No, they, they let Jason Witten catch that. That's and true. And I was like, uh-oh. I'll take that out of the box, too. Okay, let me finish this. Stack here. Should we have? Should I have one more autograph on this box? Yeah, Paul Dork got a massive extension. Two hundred million. Yeah, I saw that. It's crazy. I mean, he's pretty good. I think people. I mean, overreact. He's kind of absent in the playoffs, though. That's not like just a one-time thing. There's Zach yeah. uh, McCambly. 499, but I think they had to probably lock him up, right? They don't know what they don't know what really you're right, exactly. Plus, there's Walter with the like, Marlins. Like last five minutes. Why was acting against the Street. Nuggets last year or this past season? Plus, they're a game away from the West Coast. Plus, the Nuggets had like some portion thing going on. Oh. I don't know why I missed this. JJ Goss right here, 22 out of 25. Orange. Right, here's another box right here. Is it time to buy low on Carson Wentz? Eagles fan Nick? I don't know. I can't answer that. Um, Without bias, yeah. he's an Eagles fan, so you can't. Um, well, I, I don't, I don't usually do totals, Tony. So I did not pick a total on this game. I'm kind of bad with totals. The thing about Wentz is they can go lower, so that's all I'm gonna say. Could go lower. So yeah, I guess if you're that's the strategy. If if you think if you really think he's gonna bounce back, then you just wait for his cards to go even lower. Because like Nick Foles, like he's already I mean he already has a Super Bowl thing, so he's gonna have fans no matter what. There's Justin Foscu to four ninety nine refractor autograph for the Rangers, mark the set. And like Andrew Luck sells well like decent still because he kinda had a pretty solid career. You think Andrew Luck comes back? No, good question. People are saying once the Colts. I don't know how that would work. It's Connor Phillips. I guess reunite him with Frank Wright. Connor Phillips for David and the M's. But what would the Colts have to give up? Not much. I feel like oh, maybe yeah, maybe not much at this point. Yeah. the Colts want to do that? I think, I think so. You and Terry Bradshaw are wearing the same cap. Oh yeah, I got a Terry Bradshaw cap here. Bruce Arians rocks this cap every once in a while. You're just a football guy, I guess. Yeah, good football hat. Jake Fromm for the Eagles is the answer, says Kyle. I don't know. I don't know if they. I don't know if they would. Second round. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think they're gonna give up on Jalen Hurts anytime soon. If they give up Wentz, which I don't think they will. If anything, they're gonna try out Hurts for a year with Peterson. They're not gonna fire Doug Peterson after winning the Super Bowl two years. Yeah. Well, but Brent, we have, we have so many boxes to go. Way too early to be. Damn, shot for red. Yeah, we're only two, three boxes in. We're not even halfway through the break. We've got a long way to go, sir. There's a uh, Kaden Polkovich, to two fifty for the M's. That'll be for David Sitko, and we've got Tyler Soderstrom, Oakland A's. Gary with the Athletics.
Yeah, I think we'll get rid of Power Roseman or GM probably if anything. Yeah, the offensive line is the, is really the big thing. I mean, well, we had two, you could have, you could have two guys out for the year. Before. Right, there's Nick York to two fifty. Two guys out for the season. So. Purple paper for the Red Sox. That'll be for EA. One of them was the best guard in football for the last two, three years. Brandon Brown. Right, so you you can put like. And then our other was a first round tackle. You could put prime to. Joe Montana out there. But with that line, Prime Joe Montana wouldn't even be able to do but anything. Even with the line, Wentz definitely his mechanics are off. So I think he will benefit from these weeks off, come back next year and play better. But I feel like that's part of it too, right? Like he's just like terrified that he's just going to get destroyed. So he's he throwing saw, off the back foot a lot and blah, 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 blah. against the Packers, he can, you know, run around, you know? Maybe Hertz just ha I think I think Hertz just has that like I'm a kid. Yeah. Like he's just like he just kinda has like that fearless He's never torn I, Yeah, it's like I could run around these guys, no worries. The thing about um, quarterbacks is next year might be the deepest quarterback draft like of all time. Really? There might be four quarterbacks drafted in the top ten. Trevor Lawrence. Justin Fields. Yeah, the Fields Ohio kid. State. Um, Trey Lance from North Dakota State. Right, and I've heard about the North Dakota State. Been buzzing is the guy from BYU. Kind of crazy. And we got an orange for the Orioles. That's Carter Baumler. Nine out of twenty-five. That's for Josh Pruce and the O's. I love when the when the color matches the team. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, there's a printing plate coming up. No ink printing plate. No ink printing plate going to, and a red. No ink printing plate, two train whistles in a row. This is unheard of in Bowman draft. Burt Caraway, Cubs, EA with the Cubbies. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Thank you, Nick. And a red paper, J.J. Blade. One out of five for the fish. That's for Walter. There you go. Walter all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. All right, Zach Collins' schedule is in the chat. Please keep an eye on that. I think Blade is supposed to be a pretty solid player, too. There's Heston, and there's Zach Veen. <laughs> Jorge saying, I set that last spot mojo up by leaving the Marlins. And I think Brent set up the red. He put that out into the universe. It wasn't for his team, but he put that out there. All right, here's another box right here. Looks like we have one, two, three, four. Four boxes, so we're halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Got about another 30 or so minutes to go. Got a sparkle 
AJ Vukovic for the Snakes. And then we've got a Jordan and Wogu for the Cubbies. That's for EA. There's Carter Baumler, 250. Purple paper for the O's. Uh, TBD means to be determined. There's Spencer Torkelson. All right. And we've got Chrome Draft Pick Autograph Refractor Parallel for the Reds, Austin Hendrick. Sign your cards, Austin. That goes to Jay and the Red Legs. And we've got Colt Keith to 250, purple paper. There's Levi Prater to 150. No, it's not not to be doomed. Some of these can be autographed too. We've seen that. And we've got Garrett Crochet, 68 out of 71. Sparkle autograph for EA and the White Sox. Nice. That's, that's their uh, first round pick, 11th overall. All right, a few more boxes to go, ladies and gents.
All right, good luck. A few more boxes to go. Ooh, and some gold wave behind Jeter Downs. It's gold wave auto. Dane Acker. Eight out of 50 gold wave on card autograph. That'll go to Gary Myers and the Oakland Athletics. Thanks, Zach. I wonder if that's Zach Collins of the White Sox. White Sox catching catcher, and there's Daniel Cabrera to four ninety nine. You went to high school with this character here. No, Zach Collins is uh, Zach Collins of the White Sox is in the chat, and he said he went to high school with Dan Aker, Dane Aker. There's a Chrome Torkelson. Another Heston. No, no parallels for Torkelson yet, but we do have a couple boxes to go and the rest of this box, so let's see what happens. Paper Torkelson. And we got Logan Hoffman, Pirates autograph for Chad. And there's Dane again. Purple paper to 250. What? Sorry, Ryan, I just missed that. Anyone else see the error cards with the bad number stamp? In in this product? Sorry, I have to keep my head down for this break to make sure I catch all those all those papers. Previous years, when we didn't have to pull paper for 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 these uh, for these particular players right here, I would just be able to just just to go, but I can just go by feel and fly through the break. But the paper is slowly becoming popular. We got Quinn Cotton to two fifty purple chrome uh, for the Reds. Jay with that one. We got Garrett Crochet, green to 99, and we got Trevor Halver, 491 out of 499, refractor autograph for Chris Gerard and the Yankees.
and Jay Groom to 25. Orange paper for the uh, Red Sox. That's going to go to EA. Two more boxes to go. Here's half a box. Here's another half of a box. Here's half a box. And here's the other half of the box right here. And that's it, folks. We're all done. Good luck, everyone. Some more for the Brewers. We got Patriots at Rams coming up in a little bit. Ooh, and we've got a Tanner Burns class of 2020 autograph to 250. Can I steal that part back? Uh, yes, I'm done with it now. And that'll go to Cleveland. That'll be for Mark Bissett. Another Torkelson paper. And then we've got Milan Tolentino to 250 purple paper for the tribe There's Spencer Strider, purple paper to 250. Aaron Andrews from the South Bay. That's where we are. Spencer, paper. Yeah. 
No, she has what, what South Bay is she talking about? Oh, maybe she currently lives in the South Bay now? She's from Florida. We got Miguel Amaya, gold chrome, 17 out of 50 for EA and the White Sox. And the autograph is Justin Lang, 30 out of 150 Blue Wave Auto for Mark and the Padres. Uh, Chris McMahon for Colorado. That'll be for Jack. And Jack, you'll get all those Zacks as well that we've been pulling out of here, the paper Zacks. There's Tink Hentz to 150. Blue paper for the Cardinals. That will be for Brent and St. Louis. Like that, Zach, for Jack. And we've got Jack Blomgren. 251 out of 499. Rockies, Jack with the Rocks. I'll do a recap at the end too after we do this final box. We made it, folks. We made it. We got Marco Rea to 250, purple paper. Elliot Ramos, Sparkle. It's for, uh, for my rivals, the Giants. That's going to go to Mark. Another Torkelson paper. We saw a chrome. Are we going to see any parallels? It's another one for Detroit for Desiree. We're going to try to look for one of those by the end. Getting close to the end now. This is our first autograph in our last box. Joe Boyle. 17 out of 250. Purple chrome autograph for the Red Legs. That's going to be for Jay Goins.
right, last half box there. We got Owen Cassie, Padres autograph for Mark. Owen again, sky blue. Oh, another Torkels in paper. We got Michael Togley at a 250, purple chrome. I like when the parallel matches the team colors, Jack. That's a good looking one. And an autograph, a Marlins autograph, 85 out of 150, Zach Camberley. Cambly. That is for Walter and the Fish. Last spot mojo. Yes, Patrick, this is pick your team number eight, according to the sketch. And the very last bit here. Well, you're about to find out, Patrick, because I'm going to do a recap in just about 20 seconds. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the break. Let's go through what we saw in Pick Your Team 8. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We've got more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check it out. That's a chrome Torkelson. I don't think there's really anything much past that chrome one, Patrick. There was a nice train whistle. These were these were back-to-back -back cards. That's pretty cool. Oh. There was two chrome Torkelsons, a lot of paper. And that, my friends, is that. Thanks for joining our breaks. Thanks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.